A Space in the Void by Ashraf Bayad. Everything has weight. Your weight is well known to the back walls because your heavy shadow doesn't give the asphalt, the paint, or the writings stuck on the windows a chance to appear. You also have space, significant space, in the void. The air is polluted, and the dumpsters are too, and your soul too, ever since it got mixed up with carbon, and your heart, ever since the arteries were blocked, and it refused to grant citizenship to the blood coming back from your head. Without your memory, you lose much of your weight. You need to follow a proper diet to lose more of you. Make up your mind quickly, because the Earth's gravity doesn't wait long. Hint, replace the time factor with your name, so that you find the right way. Throw the last page of your diary right into the rubbish bin. You consume enough air for two newborn babies, if the screaming was equal. Given that the air molecules around you carry sound badly, and your throat needs repairing. A beggar woman of more than 50 displays her dignity in a rag studded with coins. She prays that you and that pretty woman who happens to be walking beside you will soon be blessed with a child to fill another part of the void in return for a coin. The time has come for you to pick up the pace, not sexually, and for you to change your smelly socks. A scientific fact, bacteria grow rapidly. Succumb to sleep, because the time has come for you to melt and dissolve, to take the shape agreed for the alienation into which you have been poured. Evaporate, condense, and go back to your void, to occupy the usual space in the you.